Hi, this is Rebecca Delosier, and this is a tutorial on how to install software that is not from the Apple Store. Um, specifically in this tutorial, we're going to install the Smart Notebook software. So what you're going to do is you're going to go find where your smart, or wherever your software is. The Smart Tech Exchange is where I would like to go. Um, and you're going to find your software. So I'm going to go to Software Downloads for Smart Notebook, and I'm going to go to Smart Notebook, and I'm going to download Smart Notebook Learning Software 11 for the Mac. Um, that's what I want. I actually have already downloaded this. So if I click this, you actually have to fill out a form. You click Download um, and uh, Yes, and then you fill that out, and it goes ahead and it downloads it to your download folder, which is right here. And if you look, I have that right here. Now, if I click on that, it will go ahead and open up um, a drive here on the right hand side of the screen and that's actually what I want for right now so I'm going to minimize this window um, and what I'm going to do is the drive is opened up and you see it says educational software installer 2012 MPKG and whatever that means is irrelevant to you but if you double click on that you're going to get an error message and it says education software installer can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer and basically what this means is your security preferences default to only allow the installation of apps that are from the Mac Apple Store um, and we need to go ahead and turn that off so you can install the smart notebook software so the way that you do that is you go up to the Apple and that's kind of like your start menu and you're going to click system preferences and then we want security and privacy so I'm double clicking on security and privacy and that's going to bring this up and it says allow applications downloaded from Mac Apple Store, Mac Apple Store and identified developers and that's what what it's defaulting to actually so like you could download um, like Google Chrome and then anywhere and I need anywhere install or turned on so I can't click on that because it's grayed out so there's a lock in the lower left hand corner so I'm gonna click the lock to make changes it's gonna ask you for your password um, so no one else can do this except whoever's logged into the machine and you're just gonna click anywhere and then it gives you a warning. It says choosing this will go ahead and mean that you know you have to know the provider. So I'm going to allow from anywhere because I trust Smart Tech. Um, and that is it. I will actually go ahead and lock this back up just so no one else can change my security settings. And I'll close this and then I'll go back. All right, then we'll continue. All right, and then it's going to guide us through the software. So, you know, that's your your user policy. You're supposed to read it and then agree. And then you want to enable the customer experience program on all devices, I suppose. Um, and I am going to install Smart Notebook, and I'm not going to install the Smart Response System. I don't want that. I just want Smart Notebook. I want the Gallery Essentials. Um, and I want my drivers. Um, I don't want anything else. If you have the smart response system, then you would want to go ahead and select the stuff there. If you've used the 3D tools, you might want to go ahead and select there also. So I'm going to click continue. I'm just going with the basic installation. This says tells you how much space. It tells you where it's going to install it. I'm not going to mess with that. I'm just going to click install. Again, you have to type in your password every time you you install something, you're going to have to type in your password, and I typed in the wrong password. That's what the shaking means. And then you just wait. Okay, so once that's all done, you'll get this message that says installation was a success, and the software was installed, and that's really all you need to do. Um, and then what you should be able to do is go to your launch pad, and there it is, Smart Notebook and your board tools and your Smart Ink and all that. And you'll have to play with that a little bit because it is a little different um, using the Smart Notebook software um, just because it's a newer version of the software than most of us are used to.